Okay, so in this second video, we're going to add in some movement to the legs again, um, the arms and the hip area. Uh, the hip area at the minute is very static, as in it doesn't move up and down or swivel on it at all, which isn't uh, very natural. So we're going to grab the hip area, and in its starting position, if the, if the right leg is out, the hip area should be swiveling that way in that direction. So we're going to press E, and we're just going to swivel it there by rotation of Y. So I'm just going to grab all those rotates and key those in on frame 0. Then I'm going to come up to frame 25 and again it should be at minus 5. So key those in just to make sure that they're exactly the same. I'm just going to flip through my two frames which is fine. Now when we come to the pass movement here at 7, so this is where the two legs are passing each other the hip movement and the rotation of the Y should be zero. So we're just going to key that in there. But the hips should also be raised up. Slightly. And since all the weight's on this leg, the hip area will just move over that bit more to this area. So we need to key in those translate X, Y, and Z. come back to frame 0 and we've got to make sure X and Y that we've just changed are both 0 there and key those in. Okay, select it and frame 25 make sure there's 0 there as well. Key those in. So now we've got this raising up movement as he's walking along and as we get to frame 13 okay this is the contact position again going to make sure that the X and Y values here are also at zero. And then frame 19, again these are going to be raised up, so we're just going to move them up slightly and over to that left leg and key those in. So if I play through that we can see that he's already moving up and down. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in the roll of the foot. As you can see in this here picture that the foot isn't always horizontally straight. It comes up at the contact and it's also pretty vertical in the pass position. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the foot, go to the first frame, <coughs> and we're going to key it in because that's where it's making contact. So that should be raised up slightly. So we're just going to hold E and raise it up to about rotate 17.5. I'm just going to click and copy that so I can use it later on. And then we're going to key all those selected. Go to frame 25 and key it in there as well. Okay, so as it's coming along, about three frames into it, the leg should snap down. So E again, just going to change that to zero and key that in. So you can see when the legs coming down, and it's still be zero there. Frame thirteen. And frame nineteen it should also be zero. Now the foot's making a far more natural motion. And we just need to repeat that in another leg. So the contact for this leg is at frame 13, so that should be frame 7 should be keyed in at 0. But frame 13 should be raised up to minus 17.5. And then key that in. And again, three frames after that, we need to key it in as zero. And that seems a lot more natural now. Next thing we're going to do is 
we're going to fix this guy's head. So just below his neck is the area where you can rotate his head. Um, and you'll notice when his hips are swiveling, his head's moving left or right. So we're going to try and keep that straight on as he's walking. So at the minute, he's looking over to his right a bit much. So we're going to change that in the first frame, make it look straight ahead. And key that in. So that's 7.5. And we're going to have to do that for the last one as well. As we go along to frame 7, he seems to be looking over to his left a bit. So again, probably keep that at 0. He's looking straight ahead. And key that in. Frame 13 seems fine. Really seems okay there now. <clears throat> Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in a rotation for his hands as they're a bit static at the minute. So I'm going to grab his hand and we can see that when his hand is this far back it should have a slight rotation like that. So we're just going to rotate it back about that amount and we're going to key that in. Key select it. Frame 7. It should be straight ahead like this. Key that in. Frame 13. It should be flicked out slightly. going to key that in. Frame 19 should be straight ahead or straight down, key that in. And frame 25 should be the exact same as frame 0 so I'm just going to get minus 15, 92.5, so it's minus 15 here <coughs> and key those in. So the hand's moving a bit more naturally now, but we can give it added weight um, pretty simply. So all that rotation was done on the y-axis as it's moving along. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our window, animation, graph editor, and we're going to get the rotation y. So this is a graph of how it's moving, where it's swinging up and then it's swinging back down to its natural position. What we're going to do is we're going to click and drag to highlight all those key frames that we put in and we're going to hold the middle mouse button over one and drag it over three frames to kind of offset it so it looks like it's got a bit of weight to it. So the hand doesn't look as stiff as the other one. And we just repeat that with the other hand. So we go to frame one that's out in the front position, so it should be swinging out slightly like that. Key that in. It should be exactly the same in frame 25, so I'm just going to key it in there. Notice this hand isn't the same, so I'm going to look at the differences. 0 is minus 15.182. So I'm just going to have to copy that. Actually, no, I'll leave it because I let offset it. So these are two the same. Um, frame 7, it should be straight down. Key that in. Frame 13, it should be back. key that in and then frame 19 should be straight down again which is fine and 25 and 0 are the same so again we just go into our window and into our animation editor graph editor so this is just a graphical representation of what's happening click on my Y 
press F to focus on it, grab all the points, and then we just again move it over three frames. So it gives us a more natural weighted motion. <clears throat> so all we're doing there with the graph editor is just offsetting the keyframes with the rest of the R motion. So it looks like the hand has a bit of weight behind it. Okay, so in the next lesson what we'll do is add in a few more uh, animation parts to the body. So it just gives it an overall more professional finish to it.